Why does my dog always look sad? 1. Your dogs breed. Simply put, your dog's sad look is just the way they physically are. You see, from time immemorial, dogs were bred to have certain physical attributes attractive to man. As much as we wanted healthier, stronger, and longer lifespan in our dogs, breeding of dogs over the centuries have taken into serious consideration their facial features too. This simply means that dogs that were not attractive, and endearing that much was not bred regularly, leading to less, and less of them in the system, and finally some form of extinction for them. The ones that struck a chord in the human heart, or generated feelings of endearment were bred more, and more, hence an increase in their gene pool, and the general population. Some good examples of dogs with permanent sad faces are the French Bulldog, the Basset Hound, Sharpe, and Pugs. Take the Basset Hound, for example, their long droop ears, their soulful eyes, their mournful demeanor, and their lazy-like physical movement all give the impression of a dog that is permanently sad. The physical attributes of these dogs are very deceiving in that they might be happy, or just nonchalant about what is going on but still look sad. So before you condemn your dog to a verdict of eternal sadness, check out your dog's breed. 2. Doubt Health Issue Your dog can actually be looking sad due to the pain, and discomfort experienced from health issues they might be suffering from. Whether it is a wound, a broken bone, bacterial infection, or an allergy, all these can lead to an uncomfortable state which will keep your dog restless, and perpetually sad. The best way to deal with your dog's health issues is to contact your vet doctor for professional advice. More important is to get the required treatment, and its medications to deliver it to your dog exactly as your vet doctor has prescribed. 3. Behavioral Adaptation Most of what we see as our dog's sad face is actually a learned behavior. When we say the sad face is a learned behavior, most dog parents assume that they have taken out time to train their dogs to behave this way. While this is true, it is usually not in the way which you would envisage it. How many times have you reacted lovingly to your dog's sad face? How many times have they escaped some harsh punishment because of their look? How many times have they used the same face to get a treat from you or to get you to play with them? The list goes on and on. Fact is, we train our dogs every day that if they need something from us including our attention, all they need to do is to put up a sad face. Even though this act is involuntary from your end, your dog quickly learns that putting up a sad face works. So if it works why not take full advantage of it? 4. Your dog is actually sad and depressed. Your dog may seem sad and tired because they actually are. Events, something, or someone around your dog can cause them to behave this way. A dog that just lost someone would feel sad. The same thing goes for abuse and traumatic experiences. It's really hard to differentiate whether your dog is feeling bad because of an event happening around him or it is one of the other reasons. A trick you can use is to try observing your dog's expressions when he or she is happy, like going on a walk or playing, and the same expression when he or she is alone. It takes some learning curve but you will start to catch on to your dog's different expressions with time, 